talking about the etiology and pathophysiology of diabetes insipidus. We already mentioned that this disorder is caused by the posterior pituitary not releasing any or enough ADH or antidiuretic hormone. This can be caused by either a dysfunction of the pituitary itself, which would be a primary cause, or secondary to another condition such as a head injury or intracranial tumor. Encephalitis or meningitis have also been known to cause diabetes insipidus. The decrease in ADH causes fluid and electrolyte imbalance as a result of increased plasma osmolality and an increase in urinary output. So basically you have too much fluid in the plasma and you're urinating too much. So it throws off the electrolyte balance in the body, taking the body out of homeostasis. Wait, don't go just yet. If you like this video and would like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website to access more great, easy to follow videos. Don't worry, Nursing Study Buddy will be posting free videos for our YouTube subscribers and a wide variety of snippets from our video library at nursingstudybuddy.com. Nursing Study Buddy was designed for those nursing students and current nursing students who are struggling with their educational experience. So if you're a pro, whiz, Einstein, or even Stephen Hawking's nephew and have no trouble studying and acing your tests and quizzes, nursingstudybuddy.com is not for you. With new videos being added every week, what are you waiting for? Visit nursingstudybuddy.com and sign up for a one day free trial and put some free time back in your life by cutting down your study time while improving your test scores. We'll see you there.